now we are going to see a simple method of subtraction so as we have already learned subtraction is to take away or find the difference subtraction means take away or find the difference and minus is the sign or the symbol that we use for subtraction so we have a small activity which I have done it on a chart and we are going to see how to subtract so I have small balls drawn with the numbers 5 so let us count the number of balls so it is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 minus 4 or 5 take away 4 so we are going to take away 4 from the 5 balls that are drawn so 1 2 3 4 and I have one ball remaining so the answer is 1 so 5 minus 4 gives me 1 or 5 take away 4 gives me 1 in the next picture I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 I have 6 balls and I have to take away 2 so I am taking away 1 2 so if I count the remaining number of balls I will come to the answer so it is 1 2 3 4 so the answer is 4 so 6 minus 2 or 6 take away 2 the answer is 4 the next sum 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so I have 9 balls and I have to take away 5 so I will take away 1 2 3 4 and 5 so I have taken away 5 balls and if I count the remaining number of balls I will get the answer so it is 1 2 3 and 4 so my answer is 4 so 9 take away 5 is 4 or 9 minus 5 gives me 4 in the next I have 1 2 3 4 so 4 balls minus 4 so I am going to take away 4 from 4 so I will take away 1 2 3 and 4 and I don't have any balls remaining so my answer is 0 as I've said zero means absence of something the next number is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so I have 8 balls and I have to take away 3 so 1 2 3 so let us count the remaining number of balls so it is 1 2 3 4 5 so my answer is 5 so 8 minus 3 or 8 take away 3 gives me 5 so 5 take away 4 or 5 minus 4 gives me 1 6 minus 2 or 6 take away 2 gives me 4 9 minus 5 or 9 take away 5 gives me 4 4 minus 4 gives me 0 and 8 minus 3 or 8 take away 3 gives me 5 so I hope you have understood the concept of subtraction using this small chart now we are going to move on to matching of the subtraction so I have 4 minus 2 so using my fingers we are going to do 4 minus 2 or we could even use small slashes to take away so the the number is 4 so I'm going to draw 4 lines so 1 2 3 4 I'm drawing five lines, four lines and I'm supposed to take away two. So I will take away two strands. So my answer is one, two. I have two remaining. So I have to match it with the number two over here. So I match it with number two. The next I have seven minus two or seven take away two. So I'm going to use these small sticks to take away so I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so I have 7 sticks and I'm supposed to take away 2 sticks 
So 1, 2. So what is my answer? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my answer is 5. So 7 minus 2 or 7 take away 2 gives me 5. So I match it with number 5. The next I have 9 minus 1 or 9 take away 1. So I'm going to draw 9 sticks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 minus 1. So I will take away 1 stick. So let me count the remaining number of sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 9 minus 1 gives me the answer 8. So I match up with number 8. The next sum I have 5 minus 1. So I'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So from 5, I have to take away 1. So I take away 1 and I get the answer 1, 2, 3, 4. So I get 4. So I match it up with number 4. The next sum I have 6 minus 3 or 6 take away 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I am taking away 3 sticks. So 1, 2, 3. So my answer is 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 3. So I match it up with number 3. The next sum I have 7 take away 1. So I have 7 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 take away 1. I take away 1 and I get the answer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my answer is 6. So I match it up with 6. Next I get 5 take away 0. So I'm having 5 sticks. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 take away 0. I get the answer 5. So I match it up with number 5. I am not taking away anything from this 5 sticks. Then we will move on to the next side of the chart. So I have 9 take away 5. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 and I am taking away 5 sticks. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my answer is 1, 2, 3, 4. So I join it to number 4. The next sum is I have 8 minus 2. So I am drawing 8 sticks and I have to take away 2 sticks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 sticks and I have to take away 2 sticks. So 1, 2. And I have to count the remaining number of sticks. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my answer is 6. Next sum, I have 7 take away 4. So I have 7 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 sticks minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So my answer is 1, 2, 3. So I will match it up to number 3. The next I have 8 take away 0. 8 minus 0. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 minus 0. So I am not taking away any sticks. So the answer remains the same. 8 take away 0 gives me 8. In the next sum I have 5 minus 5 sticks minus 3 or 5 take away 3. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 take away 3. 1, 2, 3. So my answer is 1, 2. I have 2. So I will join and match it up to 2. The next sum I have 8 take away 3 or 8 minus 3. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 minus 3. 1, 2, 3. So it gives me the answer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer is 5. 
and the last I have 7 take away 7 or 7 minus 7 so I have 7 sticks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and I have to take away 7 sticks so I take away 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so now I don't have any sticks remaining so my answer is 0 0 means absence of something so I have 0 so this is a simple method of subtraction you can either use sticks or you could use your fingers or your mind to do subtraction when it is when it comes to small numbers